Before we can start breeding for resistance, we need to have some plants that are resistant to breed from. Now when this work started, no commercial varieties had resistance at all. So what we have to do is go looking for sources of resistance. And one area that we've found um, abundant sources of resistance are in wild relatives and land races of wheat. So these are some of the wheats that have been grown in the Middle East for thousands of years. And I'm holding an Iranian land race right now. And you can see behind me there's about a hundred different types of land race that we've all found to be resistant to Pratolancus thornii. And now that we're screening, now we're screening them for resistance to Pratolancus neglectus to see if we can find land races that have resistance to both of the major nematode or root lesion nematode species in the northern grain region. As you can see, this one's nearly as tall as me, and there's a lot of work that we have to do to get these into a good background. But we cross them with some of our modern commercial wheats like Gregory and Wiley, and um, then we are able to create effective parents for our commercial breeding programs that will have the resistance of this line with the commercial characteristics of a Gregory or Wiley.